Well, we are learning more about a drug bust in the Katy area. Yeah, so a man was found with a serious narcotic that the officers say contributes to the widespread opioid epidemic. Uh, Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda live in Katy with what she's learned this morning. Sophia? Yeah, good morning, Owen. Harris County officials calling this a huge uh, victory in the fight against the opioid epidemic after an apartment was raided here in Katy Monday afternoon. Officials saying that getting those 100 grams of fentanyl off the street really put a dagger in the supply to young adults in our area. Police! Police! Yeah, police! police. It was the stealth work of Harris County Precinct 5, HPD, DEA, and other law enforcement that officials say took more than 100 grams of fentanyl and an alleged drug dealer off the streets. A 22-year-old man was arrested Monday after officials say he picked up a package at a local post office containing 102 grams of fentanyl. That package allegedly delivered from China. And officials say this problem is growing. The National Institute on Drug Abuse says the abuse of this powerful synthetic opioid is going up nationwide. Dealers and users are now mixing it with heroin and cocaine to make it even more destructive. Here at home, several young adults this year have already overdosed and died after using this potent mixture. I think many people on, especially on this side of town, consider this to be a uh, to be an epidemic at this time. We've had a lot of of, of young adults who have have OD'd, um, and this taking a hundred grams of pure fentanyl off the street is something that I think will have an impact. Uh and officials say that alleged drug dealer was arrested and charged with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance and evading arrest. Now, if you have any information on illegal drug use in your area, you are asked to call Harris County Precinct 5. We have that phone number for you on our website. Click to Houston.com as well as my Facebook page. Reporting live in Katy, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.